Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create host groups, LDIV or LUNs from Hitachi Storage Device Manager or Storage Navigator. Uh, it is unique for Hitachi G series or even Hitachi VSP G1000 and G1500. So by saying that, let's get started with our provisioning task or LUN creation. So first of all we need to log into Hitachi device manager from SVP or outside network wherever you have connectivity you can log in so type in your SVP IP address in a browser then you will get this prompt to log in to Hitachi device manager so let's get started with logging so once you put your credential just click, click on login then you will be redirected to home page and this is my home page so where you can see all the details like serial number IP addresses uh, then software version and all of those things now let's get started with first provisioning task which is host group creation so host group is nothing but a logical container where we will be putting all the WWN or IQN numbers of a specific host then we will create a LDIV or LUN from storage pool or red group then that LUN will be assigned to that host group so that that host can access those LUNs which are assigned to those host groups so this is basically LUN masking so you can just google uh, what is LUN masking and you will get a theory idea I am planning to create more videos on theory part as well as we move on forward so in this video we are uh, focusing on practical lab only so please stick with me now now just click on ports slash host group slash iSCSI target this window which is available at the left side panel then it will be redirected to the page of host group or iSCSI targets now we are into host group or iSCSI targets window so from here we can create host groups so now let's create two host groups for a specific host which might have two WWN or two HBA ports FC HBA ports in our case so let's get started by then so we create on create host group button so it will pop up one new window where we have to fill some details in order to proceed now let's say we have got the WWNs two WWN numbers of that specific host which is right over written in the notepad first thing first we have to put one name obviously for that host group so then uh, let it be any meta resource then after that we have to select a host group type and host mode options here is one table which generally gives a guideline to choose what are the best modes and options we have to choose let's say we are taking uh, VMware so we will be taking 21 which is VMware extension and uh, we will be choosing few modes 13 is not necessary that is for sim link failure so we will be taking 54 and 63 which is VAAIY compliant for our storage so we have to select specific modes and options so I will be demonstrating you how to choose that in host group creation window itself so let's switch over to that window now as I said earlier so this example we are talking about VMware extension so where I am going to pick 21 which is VMware extension so this is your host mode now click on host mode options so this will expand new uh, tab to select few items in this items we are going to select 54 and 63 which are VAAI compliant for Hitachi storage so 54 I am choosing next I am going to pick 63 
then we have to click on enable in order to enable those settings on this host group so scroll, scroll a little bit then we have to select our wwns so more the times uh, the wwns may not ap appear after zoning or something like that if you connect directly it may not appear so if it appears it's good uh, we can even filter it with some custom value like uh, all the existing wwns which are appearing over here we can filter it so let's say we are i'm filtering ca3 so uh, let's say contains for this case once we click on apply it will show the complete wwn so we can filter by that way so in our case mm, the wwn is not appearing we are going to manually insert it so in that case we will be clicking on add new host just right there so we can manually uh, put wwn so let's say this is my first wwn number which i've got from the host team we can provide one host name any name so let's say it is test host hba1 so just click on ok now that that is inserted and automatically she got selected and we have to choose which port we have zoned with or connected with then click on add After, uh, if we need any other host so let's say only we have added one wwn so what about another wwn in the same window we can click on add new host put the second wwn and host name all other things remain same let's say host and host modes we have to only change the wwn and second port we have to choose instead of the first port which we have selected 3e so now let's say we are going to select cl4e which will be the redundant port for the 3e port which we have selected already so now both the wwn or both the host groups has been created so here we can do two things we can click on finish or we can click on next so if we click on next it will ask us to select the ldevs which are not assigned to this host groups so basically we can choose the lands which we want to present to this host in our case we don't have any lands as of now because this video we, we are going to demonstrate the land creation after this part once we create host group so here basically i'm going to click on finish in order to finish this widget this will only create the host group or a container which i told earlier so after that we are going we will be going to a pool and we will be creating one uh, lun for demo purpose then we will be assigning to this host group so let's finish this task by clicking on finish so next we, have, we could have clicked so now i'm going to click on finish so all other details which we have selected it will be displayed over here and one task name as well once we click on apply it will ask for our confirmation oh it will not ask by the way it will be directly submitting the task we can go to task window and see if the task is completed or not it will take little bit of time so i can see the task is completed you can see the type of task as well so i'm going to check in the host group section if it is created and let's check some various details inside so once i scroll down it will it, yeah the two host groups are created so once you click on a single host group it will take you to the host group page where we can where we can see the ww and all other details like host mode options uh, if we click on host mode options so as we have successfully created two host groups now it is time to create one single ldev or lun ldev is basically a term used by hitachi so now it's time to create one lun from storage pool then assign that lun to this host groups in the same widget actually so after that host can rescan that lun from host end and hopefully they will be able to see it so let's get started now i'm going to click on pools 
option from the left side panel to view all the available pools. Just click on pools. It will display all the available pools which are created on this storage. So in our case, we do have only one storage pool, uh, which is actually in dynamic tiering mode, by the way. So once you click on this, uh, it will take you to the pool volumes option. So that is basically the volumes or the spaces which are coming from red group. So we have to click on virtual volumes in order to create the virtual volume, which is uh, similar to learn. So once you click on virtual volumes, just uh, close this upper window by clicking on this little add button. So here I can see four LDFs are created earlier. So now I'm going to create uh, one LDF from create LDF option. So once you click on this, one new window is going to be popped up. Here we have to fill a little bit of details. So you can't change the dynamic provisioning. Capacity savings disabled. Direct mapping, you don't have to do that. So here the pool is already selected by because we have uh, selected the pool earlier. Then we have come to virtual volume. Then we have to select the LAN size or LDF size. So it can be done in TB, GB, MB or block size by the way. So in our case, in I'm taking 10 GB as an example and how many LANs you want to create one or two so I'm taking two by the way two LANs of 10 GB will be created you can uh, define LAN num name also so I'm just putting test LAN for this then we can select the uh, LDEV ID we can manually define that we can't change the LDEV uh, that is predefined but CU ID and L uh, dev ID you can change it I'm not going to discuss this ID related thing in this practical video uh, I'm planning to create one theory video where I can di discuss about these things so what is CU ID what is LDEV ID so basically it is an ID which we can pick the last six, six digit will be LDKC ID then CU ID whatever we choose then dev ID whatever we choose so, so no need to worry about this so in my case, I'm selecting 0, 4 and interval. This interval, basically the uh, day by day interval, then CLPR, uh, then MP unit. MP unit means your processor unit, uh, controller 1 or controller 2. So put it auto mode because this is active active controller. You can enable full allocation. So this is this will be thick and if you disable it, it will be thin LAN. Then tiering policy, you can define the uh, tiering policy as well and its priority high low and middle keep it default let the system decide how to reallocate all the uh, active or inactive pages in different tiers just click on add after that now I have created two LANs and just added it so after that uh, you can you can see all other details which we have provided in. then we can click on next in order to now let's click on next it will take you to the next screen in this screen we can select the earlier created LDEV we can assign them as well uh, in the same window but we are not going to do that clicking on next uh, here we have to select the targeted host group which we have created uh, that is test host group so we have to select those host groups you can sort it by name or you can filter it if you want just host group name and choose contains and whatever your criteria is it will just filter all the hosts over here so select those two hosts click on add so these are the two hosts I am going to provision these two LANs then click on next it will show you all the LAN ID and LDEV ID everything how the sequence is going to be provisioned then after checking all other details click on finish then 
you just have to confirm or apply so once you apply that this is going to create the new task to assign this lunch to host groups so we can go to tasks window in order to see the task status unless it unless and until it is completed so it will take a little bit of time so yeah now it is in progress please wait for the task to get completed after the task is completed you can go you can log into your host and rescan the lun and hopefully you will you will be able to see the lun so that's all for this video yeah if you like this video please like or comment with your thoughts thank you myself somnath das and thanks for watching this video